Hi, ladies. Hello, hello. Hi. I feel like I say the same thing every single time I hop on a live. It's always the same thing. I need to change it up and spice it up a bit. How is everyone doing? Happy Friday. Guys, it's Friday. Who's excited for Friday? If you are tuning in, say hello. So I know you are there. Do, 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 do. There. Hi, let's see. Let's see who's here. Let's see who's tuning in. Hi, Kelsey. Hello, hello. I need to get my stuff set up. I'm so not organized right now. I didn't even set up or anything. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? How is everyone's weekend? Or week, week, weekend's just beginning, guys. Who's excited for the weekend? It's Friday, right? I keep getting, I get lost track of time all the time. I gotta think about what day it is before I say. Because sometimes I get confused. How's everyone? Wedding. Ooh. Busy, busy. I love weddings. I love, I love having, like, going, getting ready and going and dancing and all that fun stuff. But, like, obviously, like, the gifts and not a good time to fork out all this cash. But, uh, I like weddings. So romantic. We had uh, two weddings so far this year. So we were, everyone's slowly starting to get married. Slowly. We were, we were like the first ones in our, in our little like group back like, I don't even know how long ago, five years ago it was. I think we're coming on to the sixth year. I don't, I don't even know. We don't really keep track. We don't do any big celebrations or anything for anniversaries. Yay! It makes me so happy, Elizabeth. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Hearing that makes me so happy. So clearly I tried to do like the 80s. I just literally threw it up in a ponytail, guys. I didn't do much. I could have like gone all out and like crimped it and like made it all puffy and like frizzy and crazy looking, but like I didn't have time for that, and I was like, yep, we'll just do the easy way and throw it in a ponytail. Because that was totally in. In the 80s. And, like, I saw pictures of Madonna, like, wearing, like, this, like, big bows and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go steal my daughter's bow and put that in and make it look like uh, 80s hairdo. I don't know. And I, I use, like, this makeshift scrunchie. I don't even have a scrunchie. But I made, like, this, like, makeshift kind of looking one that kind of looks like a scrunchie. So I feel like it's p pretty accurate, and I had this like, neon top, like crop top, and crop tops were super huge in the 80s, with all that spandex and like leg warmers and all that fun stuff, and like lace was huge in the 80s. So how is everyone? This is like the final type of era look we have done, we, we are doing. Um, we did the 20s on Monday, we did the 40s on Tuesday. We did the 60s on Wednesday. Yesterday, we didn't get to do an era look, but we're doing the 80s today. So if you're watching and you haven't seen the other ones, mm -hmm. hi, sweetie. If you haven't seen the other ones, go back on my wall and you can tune in to the other era looks that I pulled off. So I was quite happy with them. So we are going to do 80s today. And I feel like you cannot go wrong with 80s. Putting on like all different types of colors. That's just what's gonna that's, what, that's what's gonna happen today. And I feel like you can't really screw up the 80s because they were like so bright. Um, some looks were really dark, smoky looks. So like anything you can do anything, any with, with your makeup, and it would look pretty pretty 80s as long as it's big and bold and colorful or smoky and dark. But we want to bring in color today. Yay! I was born in the late 80s, so I completely missed the whole thing. But I love the 80s era. I love the music. 80s was my favorite music. I love, like, rock and roll, like, classic rock. Not like that, like, punk rock. Like, no one likes that. I like, like, Bon Jovi and all that stuff. I love Love, love, love classic rock music. That's what I grew up to. So, 
let's get to this look, guys. We are going to bring out palette number one, five, of course. I almost said one. Palette number five because this is where the bright colors come in. Like, this is going to be, this is a complete 80s look. Like, everything about this palette screams 80s. So we're going to be using this today. And I literally have no plan, guys. So we are just going to wing it completely and hope that it looks good. I kind of have like a visual in mind of what I want to do. So we're going to leave the face to last because I expect there to be fallout because we're going to be putting on lots of color and I feel like there is going to be like a rainbow under my face because of the fallout from the shadow. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to first put on my eye primer, Victoria Cream Shadow, because I want this, um, I want my, hi Letty, I want my lids to be completely one color and even all that out, all that good stuff out so that you don't have veins. Like, I know a lot of people have like veiny eyelids and if you do have veiny eyelids, get a really nice eye primer so that when you put your shadow on, it's, it pops more and it's that true color rather than like, the veins affecting the shadow color. Oh my goodness, where is this? I always like pull all of them out and it's always the last one I'm looking for. So, all back. so Victoria's cream shadow I just put it on with my finger and I use it as an eye primer I do have eye primer as well but I feel like I don't know I just love how this goes on and the eyeshadow just it's it's tacky at first so the eyeshadow just goes on really really nice on it and it stays on huh Sue so, that's okay Sue no worries, Claire. No worries at all. Okay, so see how that just evens completely out? It just creates a really nice base and nice canvas for your eyeshadow. Compared to this, it's all like discolored and I don't have veins, a lot of veins in my eyelids, but a lot of people do. So this is a really nice trick that you can use to kind of just even it out and kind of just prep your lid for your shadow. And it just makes your, your shadow really pop. My nails are totally getting in the way because they're so long, so overgrown. And I'm in desperate need of a fill. Like, it's brutal. It's so bad. I've never waited so long in my life. Okay. There we go. So that's going to set. And that's going to dry. And it's not going to budge anywhere. Yeah, I was born in the 89, so I'm in the same position as you. So this is Splurge Cream Shadow in Victorious. It's a nude matte. And I use this instead of a primer. I have eye primer, our eye primer. But um, I don't know. I love how this just goes on. And it's so versatile. You can use it as a shadow as well. Um, and it just creates a really nice even canvas. And just mutes out any discoloration, any veins, any of that stuff. Yes, I love it. I love, love, love the cream shadows. They are... One of my favorite products, definitely. Okay, so. Who's ready for color? Who's ready for this 80? I'm scared, guys. This is like completely like over the top. And I'm just telling you right now, I would not go out of the house like this. Because like we're going all the way up to our eyebrows, okay? Just giving you like a warning. If you are scared of shadows, this is not going to be a look you're going to want to try to pull off. Because... We are going 80s, we're going big, we're going bold, we're going literally all the way up to our eyebrows, which normally you don't do with colors. It's just, it's just not something that is in right now. And I might, it's a high possibility that when we are done this live, I might look like a clown. It's a very high possibility. So if that happens, I'm just warning you, it might happen, okay? But we are just gonna we're gonna try it out, guys. We're gonna we're gonna try, because that's the good thing about this stuff is you can try. And if you fail, you fail. You wipe it off. At the end of the day, no harm done. Okay. We have our eyes primed. Let's bring in this color. So I feel like I want to do. We're gonna do like pinks, and we're gonna do purples. We're just gonna do both because it's the '80s, and that's what they did. 
Guys, this is going to be like clown central on my face. I know it for a fact. I just expect it. Okay. So we are going to go bolder on the outside and more of like a neutral rose gold inside. So it's not like completely crazy everywhere. Like our whole entire eye isn't going to be like a rainbow color. We're going to go like kind of subtle and then we're going to bring it out. And that's where the pop of color is going to come in. And I'm scared. Okay, let's do this. Guys, we let's start off with... Let's start off with the rose gold. It's the suspicious. It's really, really pretty. Nice, neutral. Um, I don't know. I just absolutely love this color. And it's like my transition color for everything. But like for the 80s, you don't even have transition colors because they were that wild. So. Yeah, this, this palette is absolutely amazing. 83, 84. We got all the ages. I love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of this 80s look, guys. I have to admit. Okay, let's get to this. I'm chatting way too much. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in this suspicious, and we are going to put this... I feel like we're going to need rose water for these guys because we really want this really to pop, pop, pop. So let's just bring the rose gold for now. I'll carry your baby. 80, 97. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to bring the rose gold here. And remember guys, we're going all the way up to our lid, our, our, our brows. So like, don't be surprised if I'm like breaking all the rules that I have been talking about because apparently in the 80s, there were no rules. And they just went crazy with makeup. So I'm using like no techniques at all, okay? Like there's absolutely no techniques happening with this look. They did a lot of like blues and stuff too, but I didn't have, I have a nice deep blue. I don't have any like crazy bright blues. I'm just gonna put this everywhere and then we're gonna build on it with the bright, bright colors. And obviously the 80s, they had like super, super thin eyebrows. If you're watching and you haven't said hello yet, say hi. Let's see who's on, who's excited for this look, this crazy, crazy clown. It's gonna be a clown. I'm gonna look like a clown by the end of it telling you right now it's gonna happen okay so we're gonna do like pinkies and purple so I'm gonna bring sarcastic and actually maybe I'll do victorious yeah we're gonna do victorious and fearless okay like those two scream 80s right now completely you're gonna turn 20 next month oh my goodness I wish I wish I turned 28 guys a couple days ago like last week sometime and that was like sad i was like 28 i'm closer to 30 now and that's just oh where is time gone not that 30 is like bad like 30 is definitely still young 30s apparently is a new 20s yeah same i well, I was born like late late 80s so the 90s was like my childhood completely okay okay we're gonna do the purple first I feel like, you know what, no, we're going to do Victoria's first. See, like, I don't have a plan. We're just going to wing it. So don't expect much. So if I, I might. No, no, no. Oh, Jackson. He says his blank. He's dragging it around. So I'm going to see how this is without the rose water. And we're going to probably need it. Yeah, we're going to need rose water to make this even brighter. You're, hey, oh, no. Is that what I have to look forward to? Hey, hey, hey. Don't rip your blanket. Lie down. I feel like I this with this with this rose gold, I don't want it to like numb like bring down the color. I want 
with this full pop because oh my goodness guys this is so silly oh my goodness no he's not humping today he's just sucking his blanket today he already went off on his bed upstairs a couple a little while ago so he's he's had his fix okay so I want to do, and then on the outer, we're going to do the purple. So I want to do a nice transition between all three colors. Bringing this, oh my goodness. Like we're going really high, guys. We're going like way up here. This is so funny. Oh no, Mallory, what, your live, the live's not working? Try um, going off and then coming back on. Sometimes Facebook likes to screw with the Facebook lives. Guys, this color is like so 80s. Like what? Like bright, 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 bright. And has a shimmer to it, so it's even like prettier than just a matte pink. Okay, now let's bring in the purple. Let's grab a new brush. Again, yeah, spray with rose water to make it more intense. Got it all over my hands. Okay, all right, you guys ready for the purple? Oh my gosh, this is crazy! <laughs> Purples were huge, pinks were huge, and like blues. I'm gonna try to do this like as like nice as possible. If you're tuning in, say hello. Welcome to this crazy 80s look, guys. And if anyone like grew up in the 80s and did their makeup like this, let me know if I'm doing it wrong because I'm just going off like just photos. And I always take suggestions, guys. Always, always, always. I feel like this is so bright and so much. It's just very like, like my daughter's going to look at me like, what has happened to your face? And we have a lot of fallout, but we're going to fix that with their foundation and the concealer. The pink? Oh my goodness. I feel like I look like a clown right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And like, even these colors are not really like... The 80s were more like... Like, these are more like... They have a really nice, like, neutral undertone to them. So they're like... They're kind of normal these days. Like, they're very nice and neutral. And like, the 80s, it was like, not at all. Like, you put like just bright pink on your lid and you're good to go so even like this bright bright palette is still not as like bold if it, if you know what i mean as the 80s makeup they had because it was just like that was bright stuff this is more of like a, like a, like a neutral undertone all these shades but it's as good as i got oh my goodness okay let's do this eye with the purple I know, I'm so excited to do it. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. I, I thought that it would be 80s appropriate, so I'm glad it is. Again, like, you can't go wrong with the 80s makeup. Just, like, put on a bunch of bright, bright colors on your lid, and you are good to go. Either like pinks, purples, or blues, and even like smoky blacks. Like like Madonna, she was big into smoke. I was looking at photos and I was trying to get like a like a some inspiration from her, and like pretty much all she did was like dark smoky eyes. She didn't do a lot of color. What I found. Oh. She was trying to like completely flip the trend. 
she brought all like the lace and like the black colors where normally it's all like neon and stuff hi Kenz. hi what are your thoughts <laughs> she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> She's speechless for the first time in her life. <laughs> Blue eyeliner, yeah. <laughs> so my only blue eyeliner that I have is like a dark blue, so that doesn't really work. This is where I wish I had that um, um, suspense. Spon no, not spontaneous. The blue liquid lipstick. I don't remember what the name is. Oh my goodness, guys. This is crazy. Okay, I think I got it. I think, like, this is pretty accurate. What do you think? Thank God I didn't do my foundation yet. Because look at under my eyes. This is what I happens when you're trying to, like, go. Eyes. You love it? You, you would. Eyes. You would love that. I love You can do whatever you want, Letty. This is your Mom? business. You can do whatever you want. Mom, you want me to You clean? can go on and do whatever. Mom, Mom, you want me to clean sides? Um, sure, baby. Whatever your heart desires. That's the best thing about this is no one is telling you what to do. So, like, you go want to go on and make a fool of yourself and do, like, crazy 80s thing? Do go ahead because people like crazy. People like something different, and like, look at the fallout. Like, you can tell I'm putting a lot of makeup on my face right now. Like, I have a rainbow on my face. That's just what's happening right now. Kenzie, can you grab me a baby wipe, please? I seriously need it under my eyes. A baby wipe, please. Thanks, my love. Okay. All right. This is nuts. I'm gonna like, blend it. It is. It's, I love being, like, I love trying different things. And, like, I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. I'm not dimming it down. Don't worry, guys. It's still bold. I'm just breaking up that line. Yeah. Thanks, my love. Thank you. Just breaking up this line. <gasps> yeah, he likes to eat your stuff. Did he? Okay. I feel like I didn't even go all the way up for this one. Like, I need to go more. Like, we are going all out here. I need to go higher. <sighs> That's not even the color. That's the day. It's the day when I was here. Yeah, he's nuts. I you know. Okay. That's better. Now we're right up there. We cleaned it again. Yeah, complete yesterday. fallout. It's what well, well, when I'm putting on like a yeah, lot. We're not cleaning the play That's what's going to happen. Did you? Yes, yes. yes that's just what's going to happen. And that's okay because that's why you do your eyeshadow first. There we go. Do your eyeshadow first. So if you do have fallout, you have no problem. You just wipe away any of the fallout and you are good to go. And what I like about doing this is you can create a nice, yeah. even, like if you want a sharp I'm line doing, over here, I'm doing a peachy cuddle you can do that. And wet cuddle. Oh, okay. You're going to do your makeup now? Wait, uh, I need to make my makeup on there. Hmm. Let me go get my mail. Okay, do you guys think this is bright enough? What do you think? I need some opinions, ladies. You can use a mirror on your shadow, honey. The shadow palette. There's mirrors all in the palettes. On what? Pretty much everything, there's little mirrors. What shadow palette? Any shadow palette or blush or anything. Blush? There is mirrors on it all. You're never short of a mirror if you have all this stuff. Ah, this Brighter. Mirror. I know, I'm trying. This I'm trying to go brighter. I'm trying to think. How I think what else I can do, this, guys. How this mirror roll? How this mirror roll? What? And this. I'm just going to bring in some uh, Majestic Cream Shadow. Yeah, there's a mirror on there. 
Maybe some Majestic? Guys, what do you think? I'm trying to go brighter, it's so hard. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna bring in some Majestic Cream Shadow. This, this will, this is gonna, okay. I'm hoping will work. Okay, let's try this. Maybe that's why, yeah. Maybe I'll try to sponge brush with the pink again. So I'm definitely brightening up the purple for sure. With the Majestic. You had it up. I wish I had mineral pigments for this. The only pigments I have are like neutral colors. And that's no fun. Okay, so there's the purple. So that's definitely more intense with the cream shadow. I'm gonna add some more pink to it too. Okay. See what I mean by like the colors are having the nice like neutral undertone? They're not that like that like that gaudy color, that gaudy pink and and purple. That's what I mean by the palette is being like has been neutral. So let me bring in this pink again. Maybe a little bit of this one too. <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. That's some intense color there. Yeah, the sponge brush just it works better with this look because you can put it on exactly where you want it to go and it's very, very intense. And I didn't even have to spray my brush with the rose water either. Okay. Yeah? And I'm using the darker pink too. This one right here. And that one together. I would laugh if my husband came home right now. He would think I literally went crazy. Wow, speak of the devil, that's crazy. What did he say? That's so nuts. Oh, what do you want to do for dinner? Uh -huh. Yes, baby. Beautiful, you messed up a little bit, but other than that, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, this is working so much better, guys. Okay. Better, better, better? I think so. I think so. Again, let's just blend out that line just a tad. Just so it's not like a line. It's more of a blend. I need to line. Okay. Alright, I think that's done. I think we're good. Yeah, well it's not really an orange. It's more like a coppery, um, like a bronzy brassy color vintage it looks orange but like in different angles it looks completely different it's very cool it's like a burnt orange mama yeah honey can't you can you tell me which one you use it on this palette yeah for which color for my eyes i use these three oh. you gonna do the same yes. okay oh dear kenzie's doing the same guys all right there we go 80s, eyes, bold, let's, I want to like smoke at the bottom. What do you guys think? Should we smoke at the bottom? Put some black eyeliner on there? Yeah, I think so. I think we need that. Who is tuning in, guys? Say hello, where are you from? If you're tuning for the first time, this is kind of a bad example of what I do. <laughs> This is kind
kind of like <laughs> that'd be bad to come on like oh this girl has no idea what to do like what is she doing to her face this is just a fun little makeup type tutorial to I don't know have a little fun and if you're going to an 80s party now you know what to do for makeup this week was all about eras and the era different makeups makeup looks in the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, and of course, now the 80s. I can put some, maybe put some orange in the corner of my no, eyes. How do I look? do that. Oh, beautiful! I do. You did beautiful, baby. Thanks. So I'm going to bring that down. Like, I really want to smoke out this black. So I'm going to grab my brush and kind of just blend it out a bit. Thank you, Mallory. Yes, ladies, like and share, and you will get put into my free product draw. Where's that wipe, honey? Thank you. I'm going to clean this brush. I have clean my Yeah, brush totally. There was, too. Blues were so big, but I, I don't have blue. I, I have, like, I a dark blue. I have brush, too. I and, like, a silvery blue. Too. That's not going to work. I need, like, a bright, like, neon blue. That's what I need. I can put some orange. Here, let me put some orange. Burnt orange. This is burnt orange. So again, it has a nice neutral undertone. There we go. That's pretty good, and it's so bright and vibrant. Okay, that works. Good idea, Carrie. Good idea. Now your brush is all smooth. Thanks, baby. Washed it. Yes. Thank you, Mama. And your wizard all smooth. Thanks, Booba. Okay. It has a stain to it. What's got a stain? The brush? That's okay. Yeah. They need to be washed anyways, honey. I did. Oh, thanks. Okay. That's red. I don't need red. And well, lip? I'm going to do like a, like a pink lip. Just like a well, like pop in the face pink lip. Oh, it's pretty. You kind of you kind of goofed up a little bit. That's okay, honey. Where's my I need my eyeliner again? I want to really smoke this out, guys. I'm trying my best to like. So I I did a post um yesterday on like different makeup themes, like fun just fun stuff to try, and I got a a lot of really really good answers. I got like. Um, goth, that would be kind of cool and like completely out of my comfort zone. Um, like a masquerade theme, that's kind of interesting. Um, I got a really, my best, my favorite one was Egyptian. Like that would be very, very cool to do. I, I don't have the colors yet to do that. I need to um, get some of like that, those blues and like aquas and stuff and like teals. So I love that one. Um, so we'll see. And like people, a bunch of people want me to try the Harley Quinn look. So maybe I'll try that. We're going to do like, I think we're going to do once a week, once a week, maybe on Mondays. I haven't decided yet, but we're going to, yeah, I'm going to do golf for sure. I think that'd be really cool. Okay. I think guys, we are done with the eyes. What do you think? Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Okay. Let's cover like any of this goofiness off because we don't want. We need a con we need concealer. Guys, just be serious. Like we got mom bags happening right now. We need concealer. So I'm gonna put some foundation on first. I'm gonna use my pressed powder or sorry loose powder like I've been using for a long time. Over the last like two weeks, I've been just strictly loose powder because I love, 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 love it in the summertime. Where's my brush, sweetie? What are you doing? Please behave. Yeah, do I look like I'm from the 80s? I think so. I think it's pretty 80s-ish. Can I try it? No, I don't want you using this, baby, because I don't want you wasting it. I won't. I this won't stuff is like gold to me. Uh, it's not gold. <laughs> no, but it's like gold. But it's not. 
I know it's not gold. I... Silly. Like, look at that coverage, guys. Already. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love this stuff. What do you think so far, girls? Anyone planning an 80s party? I have to do my brows. My brows are wild right now. Just like my eyes. <laughs> they match my eyes. Wild. Okay. So, we are covered. We are good. Thank you for the shares. Wow, we're up to 16. That's crazy. Yeah, you like it? Okay. All right. Concealer. I need to consider this. Tad bit of concealer. This stuff goes such a long way. I'm in, I've had this forever. I've only gotten... I started in what? January and I've never had to buy it like a new one because it literally lasts you forever Okay, let that sit just for a sec to Sit so the blush is really what's gonna pull this look together. They went crazy with their blush like I'm gonna put two two different ones on because They went that crazy. So I want to do Suspect, um, seductive and sweet. Seductive is more of a deeper blush that I use in the summertime because it's really nice and deep, has a nice neutral undertone to it. And then sweet, I wish I had the brightest one. It's so bright and fuchsia and it's so pretty, but I don't. So we're gonna work with these two today. This is more of like a nice soft pink. So we're gonna go, and I've seen pictures, um, of an 80s look where they they have like two different blushes on so we're just gonna do we're gonna do that we're gonna go all out and do like crazy blush like i'm just gonna like slap it all over my face not literally all over because we don't want to like what's that i posted a picture like a couple like a month or two ago and they had like blush like all up here and like i don't even know i don't even know if that's a thing i think it was just like a goofy photo and no one liked it Everyone was like, are you kidding me? What is this now? They weren't a fan of the like, blushing or something like that. I don't know what it's called. So I let that concealer set on my face and just warm up a bit. It's just a lot easier to blend in if you find that you're your concealer doesn't go like blend very well let it sit and warm up on your face first hi Chelsea there we go we got our mom bags have disappeared ladies they are gone thank you Chelsea I really appreciate it okay you guys ready for this crazy blush we're going to do? This is what's going to like really pull it together, guys. Like the blush was nuts in the 80s. All right, let's go for I'm going to go with seductive, which is the darker one. It's the more deeper one and we are going to put it a little bit underneath. A little bit lower than I normally would put it. Cuz we're not going to contour or anything cuz it was all about the blush in the 80s. And we're going to put like a lot. We're gonna just going to like throw that on and go crazy with it because that's what they did. So the deeper one and then we're going to go with the sweet which is the nice lighter one. A little bit above that to make kind of like a two-tone. And then of course we need to bring in our mascara to complete it. And then top it off with our lipstick. Never used so much blush in my life. Is it is it intense on your end? Because it's so intense on my end. What do you guys see right now? Because I see like I have like 
a streak of pink going on my face. I, it's hard to see. I don't know what you see right now. Now we're going to bring in the sweet and just go with a little bit. It's like, it's brighter. And I'm just going to bring that up a bit. Guys, this is like, I'm trying to get it like on the video on my phone as like accurate as possible. But like on my end, I look like a fool right now. And I don't know what you see. If you see exactly what I see on my end, you're going to be like, what is she doing? Because it, the camera really dims it all down and kind of just like, I don't know, it's not as vibrant, as intense on the video as it is in real life. Okay, I need to blend that out a bit because we got like complete lines on our face. I think we're pretty good though. I think uh, it's pretty accurate. What do you guys think? Ladies that grew up in the 80s, what do you think? Am I pretty accurate? We went crazy, guys. We went crazy on the blush. Okay, I didn't do the brows yet. I'm going to quickly do my brows. Quickly, quickly. And then we're going to top it off with our lipstick. Yeah, does it look pretty good? Okay. Brows, mascara, blush. Or uh, brows, mascara, lips. And then we're done. I'm just going to bring out my brow palette. Quickly do the brows. So remember, in the 80s, their brows were like a lot thinner than what we have now. So it's kind of not as accurate as it should be, but obviously there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah? Awesome. I'm so happy. Now, I'm it. Oh, you're doing your letters? Yes, I'm doing all my letters. Good, baby. School. So when I go to school, I'll be good at it. Okay. I want to do a sweat in the gale. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you know that you're older, you can do it better now. You have more control over the pencil. Look. Very good, baby. I look. Multitasking pop. guys right here. Yeah, you did. Very good. Okay. Brows are filled in. Okay. I'll need my little brush. Because I do not like, for myself, I'm not a fan of brows that are like, like, you can tell that they're drawn on. I like them more natural, so I brush them out a bit when I put the shadow on. And I like shadow more than, like, um... A pencil because I feel like the shadow has it's more of a natural look um, and that's per what I prefer where is it everyone always obviously prefers their own styles I just have this little doohickey tool it's the mascara and the brow like little brush here and I had didn't purchase this for the long time because I had one the lash comb and I regret not purchasing right away because this is it's metal normally if you when you buy the ones at like the dollar store or like the drugstore they're plastic and you cannot like they're not accurate at all but this one's actually metal so it's so nice and works amazing so again i just soften out that shadow just to get that kind of natural look there we go there we go we got some crazy hair crazy eyes now we are going to do some mascara just really quickly I'm going to throw some mascara on and throw some. I feel like for the lips, I have an idea of what I want. I need your opinion to see if it's going to work. Mother's Day was in May, baby. Mother's Day is already passed. Aww. It's okay. I don't need anything, honey. Thank you, though. For next Mother's Day. For the next Mother's Day. For the next Mother's Day. Next, next, next. So for like brows like yours, Letty, I would 
Because I know people have like really light, light hair or like even non-existent brows. Um, and I know there are customers. I don't, they're not my personal customers, but they are my, um, my wife's sister's customers. And they don't, they have that like a condition where they don't have any facial hair. So their like brows are pretty much not there. Um, I don't remember what the technical word of it is called, um, but they definitely recommend the brow palette because it has the two tone colors where you can define, this is for defining the shape and this is for the fill. So it's more of a natural look because brows are not all one color, they're not. They are more of like an ombre look of your natural brows. Um, so you have that, those two colors there that can give you that natural look. Um, so I would definitely recommend that. But I was obviously gifted with big brows. <laughs> but they never were like that. I took a long time to grow them out. I really just like t didn't touch them for months and months and months until they really like were super bushy and grown out. And I have, it was totally worth it. Because now they are, because even like I have photos of me like a couple of years ago where they were so thin and it was, that was the thing, right? That was the thing like 10 years ago, not even like five years ago, they were so thin and that's just what it, what the look was and it was totally cool. But now it's okay to have nice thick brows. And I prefer it too because you don't need to get them waxed or threaded so much. Oh my, yeah, I can help you after, babe. Aww. I'll get All right, I'm just gonna do one coat of lashes, guys, today. Cause again, I don't want to sit here and talk forever without lashes. But yeah, I love um. I always used to use the pencil, the brow pencil, for up until I started with Unique. I even bought the brow pencil, um, the Unique one, and because they didn't even have the brow palette yet. The brow palette was launched in March, and I thought it was good. Like I liked it. It looked, it did its job. But then I tried the shadow, and I liked it even more, um, just because it was more of a natural look rather than you like drawing on the hairs. And just for me, that's my preference. It all depends on your brow style. Yeah. Guys, how crazy were my lashes? Uh, was it the 40s? No, 60s, where they actually draw on like they the 60s or 40s? I don't remember. I want to like really darken this up. I'm going to put some fibers on the bottom to really like bring them out. Make them longer. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, guys. Lengthen those lashes on the bottom. Look at that, guys. Like, what? All right, we want those to stay. We don't want those to go anywhere, so let's put the gel on. Seal those puppies in. My eyes are hazel, so yeah, they do. Um, as you can see, they really, really pop. Like, they really stand out right now because of the purple shadow. Um, if you have hazel eyes, purple shadow really makes them um, pop and stand out. So yes, they are definitely popping right now because of the purple. Different shadow colors will help make your eyes really stand out. For browns, oh, I need my little wand doohickey because I put too much on. Um, for brown eyes, 
blues if you stand out and also golds coppery colors oranges um because a lot of times if you have brown eyes yeah honey almost look i'm almost done okay if you have a lot of times if you have brown eyes you have like gold specks in them so is that to clear your eyebrows this is i'm just kind of separating them a bit because mommy went a little bit wild on the mascara. Is that to curl? No, this one's not to curl it. Where is it full? There we go. They're much better. Much better. Yeah, yeah they are um, hazel with like a hint of like green around the outer and they're brown on the inner. Yeah, honey. I want to show them this. Not with my not with my sharpener, honey. That's only for makeup. That's different. Okay. Time to get our lipstick on, guys. That's that my my shadow my uh pencils are not crayons. They're completely different, so you can't use the same sharpener, baby. So I feel like this is what we're gonna bring in for the color. What do you guys think for the lips? Let me show you. Do you think that's accurate for 80s? Let me hear you. Everyone that was grew up in the 80s, is that pretty accurate? I think that's pretty accurate. Conceited opulence lipstick. What do you think? What do you think? Yes. Can I ask me that, baby? Oh, you got lipstick on it. Mm -hmm. I got a delay. There's a delay happening. At least like 10 seconds delay. Yeah? Okay, Missy, you are like the 80s queen, you know. I'm going to listen to you because you know what you're talking about right now. Okay. Make sure my lips are all nice and dry. They're pretty smooth. It's okay, thank you. Bring okay. to me. What? I'm not putting this on your face. You have already read on. Oh, after when I'm done, baby, okay? When I'm done, I need a mirror. Okay. Yeah, that mirror, I have this mirror. Oh yeah, this is totally 80s, guys. Mm -hmm. That happened though. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god! Well, if I go to an 80s party, I know what I'm doing. I went to a 90s party a couple months ago. So I have a picture of, I'm going to add that. I'm gonna make a little collage of all like the era makeup I did this week and I'm gonna add my 90s look to it too because I did it a couple of months ago. I feel like it turned out pretty good. But these ones, like all these, these four ones I just did, they're pretty bang on, in my opinion. All right, guys. What do you think? 80s, yes. Thumbs up. Does it look pretty accurate? Let me see those thumbs up if it's pretty accurate. You kind of spread it all over. You need to get a new wipe. <laughs> you look, now you look like the Joker. <laughs> so there we go, guys. We got our 90s look happening. And this is like the end. Oh, Kenzie, getting careful. This is the end of our era themed, and I'm okay with it because now we're gonna move on to something bigger and better. And I'm glad that we checked this box off. Nailed it, yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Okay, I need this back, baby. So that is it. We are done, Woo! we are done. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any questions at all about any other products here, you can, don't hesitate to message me. I would love to, what did I call it? 90s? What did I say? Not 80s. This is the 80s, guys. No, I did the 90s um, a couple of months ago. Um, so I'll add that into the collage, too. Oh, I said 90s? My bad. Um, this is obviously 80s. Totally 80s. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, again, make sure you message me. Don't hesitate to ask. I would love to answer your questions. And if you're curious about any of the products I've used in this or any of my other videos, you can um, check out the website that I have pinned in all the videos and give it a browse. And anything that you 
are interested in, you order straight from there and it goes right to your doorstep, which is obviously very convenient. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for the support. I love, love, love tuning in with you guys every day. And you guys just coming back over and over again really means so much to me. Thank you so much. Um, like and share this video to get into my free product draw. And I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.